Welcome to my channel. Sorry it took so long to get this one out. It's been a rough few weeks. So, for what it's worth, this is my little update. Trying to heal. In short, that's what I'm trying to do. My surgery was a little over two weeks ago. They went in and carved away at my prostate and parts of my bladder, as well as removing some sort of mass in there. I guess this is pretty normal for guys my age and older, but I promise you, there is nothing normal feeling about it. Let's just say I'm a changed man, and not so much for the best at this point, so, yeah, I'm trying to heal. This comes at a very non-opportune time, but that's how life goes, I guess. You don't get to pick and choose your fate. They told me I should avoid coffee. I tried that yesterday, and it didn't work out so well for me. Perhaps I have a caffeine dependency problem, because for the life of me, I just could not get motivated yesterday. I spent the entire day on the couch binge-watching Six Feet Under on Netflix and sleeping on and off. With the sale of my home still looming unsuccessfully, I'm still packing things up and considering what I'm going to sell off or give away. That in itself is difficult because I'm not really supposed to be lifting or exerting myself that much. Then there's the actual thought of moving in with my mother. She's, for lack of a better word, impossible to be around. She's not the most pleasant person anymore. She can change from being friendly to being an enemy in a split second. I know it's not nice to say, but it's time, if you know what I mean. Then there's the thought of moving hundreds of miles away from the lady I have grown very fond of over the last year or so. My heart is heavy. The mask I wear hides the uncertainty, the pain, the fear that awaits my decision of moving away from the only home I have known since I was a child. When I was a child, we had a home in northern Michigan we would escape to for weekends and weeks at a time while living in southeastern Michigan. Many memories were made there, decades worth of memories. Summer vacations, ski weekends, hunting, building our dream home. Family and friends would gather there. Great food and booze and fun, fun, fun! <laughs> Four-wheelers and trail bikes, hikes in the woods, bonfires, weenie roast. So many beautiful and fond memories were made. This morning I dreamt of one of those times, only to wake and realize that it was gone. Completely gone, never to be had again. And I cried. God damn, my heart is heavy. My father's gone, my sister's gone, my mother is alive, but she too is pretty much gone. My children are gone, and everything I've built in my life is pretty much gone. A fond memory seems to be all that's left. The recollection of something wonderful and the pit in my gut that tries to tell me that I'm done. Like a chapter in a book that I'm simply in the middle of, I know that there are yet a few more chapters left. There are more memories to be made, but this one, fucking A, this one sucks. It's like a house of mirrors or a maze that I can't find my way out of. Physical pain, emotional pain, fear, uncertainty, periods of hopelessness haunt me. If I allow myself to look into the future and what it may hold for me, there is some light down the line. I try not to plan on it turning out exactly as I see it. At this stage in my life, I try to live in the moment and I try to live for what it's worth. I try to find some good in the now even though my immediate future is so uncertain. Pain is just a reminder that we are still alive. Hope is the fuel that keeps us moving. Love is the salve that makes it all worth living. And reality is the harsh reminder that this is all temporary. Keeping it all in perspective is one of the most difficult things we'll ever do. That's all for now. Thanks for stopping into my channel. Sorry it took so long to get this one out. Mm -hmm.